Hello, my name is Tyler Chen from the Newton Frontier. Today marks the inaugural episode of our newest series, Math Proof Monday. For today's video, we will be discussing the area and perimeter of the Sierpinski Triangle. Before we delve into finding the area and perimeter of the Sierpinski Triangle, let's talk a bit about what the Sierpinski Triangle is. The Sierpinski Triangle is a fractal or a geometric figure in which similar patterns recur at progressively smaller scales. The triangle was named after Polish mathematician Wacław Sierpinski. The Sierpinski triangle itself can be constructed from an equilateral triangle. By repeatedly subdividing a larger equilateral triangle into four smaller congruent equilateral triangles while removing the central triangle, you can construct a Sierpinski triangle. An important thing to note is that in a Sierpinski triangle, you repeat the step an infinite number of times. All right, so now let's move on to the actual proof itself. Um, let's say we have four triangles with the first triangle uh, side length of unit one, and each triangle is the next step in constructing a Sierpinski triangle. And we'll say that um, n equals zero is the original triangle, n equals one is the first step, n equals two is the second step, and so on and so on. Uh, let's think of, for a second about what the area would be of the unshaded region of the Sierpinski triangle. So we know that the area of an equilateral triangle is equal to the square root of three fourths times uh, the side length squared. And so if we plug all of this in, and uh, if you want to work through the math, I invite you to, just for the sake of time, I'm going to keep things short. If we plug in the math, we, we can find that um, the area at each triangle, if we do the area at n equals zero, we find that the area here equals square root of three fourths. The area at n equals one equals the square root of three fourths times three fourths. The area at n equals uh, two equals square root of three fourths times uh, nine over 16, then the area at n equals three, which is the last step that we have drawn out, equals square root of three fourths uh, times 27 over 64. And so essentially, oops, sorry, that's not a shot there. Um, this, this is the area as the step steps increase. And if you, um, you can actually notice a pattern here. So this is 3 fourths, this is 9 sixteenths, this is 20 60 fourths. And this is actually um, 3 fourths squared. This is um, 3 fourths cubed. So you can actually write that the area at n step is equal to the square root of 3 fourths times 3 fourths uh, to the n power where n is the step that you're on of the Sierpinski triangle. And let's think for a second, um, actually, if you take the area as uh, at n equals infinity, you know, when you have infinite steps and infinite, you know, tiny shaded triangles, what you can actually do here is you can take a limit. And so um, the, the area here, you can say uh, the limit as n approaches infinity of uh, square root three fourths of three fourths um, to the n, that would represent the area as um, n approaches infinity and n is infinity. And so if you plug uh, this in and you solve this limit out, you get um, square root of three fourths, oops, sorry. The limit as n approaches infinity of square root of three fourths of three fourths to the infinity. And since um, three fourths is less than zero, uh, one, um, this is equal to zero. And so zero is the area of the unshaded region of a Sierpinski triangle as uh, the step n approaches infinity. So now on to proving the perimeter of the Sierpinski triangle. So the perimeter is fairly simple uh, to find uh, just numerically, you know, because you're adding up the three sides. So um, for a, any, or sorry, not a, p, because we're working with perimeter now. 
uh, the perimeter at n equals zero is very simple. That's equal to three. Uh, and then next we can find the perimeter at n equals one. So essentially since you're working with equilateral triangles, um, the length here of each of these tiny sides will be uh, one half the length of the previous step. So each side length here is one half, one half, one half, and then in n equals two step, step two, it'll be one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, uh, one eighth, and, and so on and so on. But for this, um, it, each triangle here will have a perimeter of three halves. Then there are three triangles, so we multiply that by three. And so the perimeter there is equal to nine half. But essentially, since, since you are um, kind of going this linear fashion where you're getting three more triangles each time, you can uh, find the rate of change of the perimeter which is nine half um, over three, because that's n equals one over n equals zero, right? So nine halves over three, and that's equal to three half. So we know that um, the perimeter of n equals two will be three halves greater than n equals one. So we can say that the perimeter of n equals two equals uh, nine or three times three half, because three times three half is nine half, three half times three half, and then the perimeter at n equals three equals three times three halves times three halves times three halves, or three halves to the third power. And, oops, once again, that's out of frame, sorry. So um, following this kind of pattern, we can then say, because that's uh, three times three halves to the zero, this is three times three halves to one power, uh, three times three halves to the second power. We can actually say that the perimeter at n, uh, n step equals uh, three times three half to the n power. And once again, we can take a limit here. And so we can take the limit as n approaches infinity of three times three half to the n power, and that's uh, equal to three times three half to the infinity, and that is equal to infinity. And so the perimeter of a Sierpinski triangle is infinity. And that's just very mathematically interesting because you have a ob object or, or geometrical figure with finite area, or actually zero area, however, um, infinite perimeter. And that's just something that's very mathematically interesting. Thank you. Hello, thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving the video a like and giving our channel a subscription. It would really help us out. Thank you and have a great day. The Noon Frontier.